Hello Master Duel Central, how's it going guys? Sorry for the lack of uploads recently, but what I have for you is what a lot of you have been asking for, which is my updated dino decklist. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of struggling with dinos and ladder recently. Uh, it's been super easy with the Sangan deck in the last video, it just kind of climbs on its own. But I know we're all dino boys here on my channel, we all know that dino is the most based and epic of decks, and deep down we know it's really just the best deck. So I had to really knock my brains out to try to figure out a build that I thought worked well for this format. And this is the one I went with. Basically, it's uh, it's using the same Aurorodon line that I'm using in the Sangan video. Just because Colossus is like one of the best cards in this format right now in terms of anti-meta. Because it completely destroys Adventure, completely destroys Floundries. So if you're going first and you set up a Colossus on top of a couple negates, you're usually feeling pretty damn good and you're almost always winning in that scenario. Another cool thing about this deck that I'm doing is it's kind of, when you go full combo in this deck, what you're really setting up is a combo that's safe from Nibiru. So you're doing this Halked Online without having to worry about Nibiru. Your full combo basically sets up a Dolka before you go into your Halked Online. The board that we're making here will usually end on a three negate Borlo savage dragon it'll end on a colossus you'll have a dolka on the field with two materials if your opponent had no hand traps and you'll have a uct on the field so very simple but also very very strong and uh, you'll also get two free draws off of hyper librarian which uh, we're running a lot of hand traps well not that many we're just running like the essential hand traps really just the ones we really want to negate off of cross out designator i'm also running um the forbidden droplet because that's also something you might want to negate sometimes off of the uh cross out designator if your opponent has it at the start of their turn so if you want to go through the card by card real quick we've got effect valor jet synchron two archosaur three baby Ceresaurus, one mecha phantom beast old lion one ash one giant rex one scrap chimera three misc two ovi raptor one nemesis corridor three scrap raptor two ultimate conductor tyranno two double evolution pill three fossil dig three pot of prosperity three small world two calm by the grave three cross out one forbidden droplet and the infinite impermanence this deck the name of the game is consistency so yes we are playing three small world three pot of prosperity three fossil dig so really we've got like 12 copies of most of the dinos we want in this deck the consistency boost helps a lot with the small world a lot of these hand trap monsters and stuff will easily get you into your dinos and let's say you draw your old lion which is like very much required for you to go into the aurorodon play well it's fine if you draw the old lion it's a good target to get um on small world with uh, old lion you can easily get to most of your dinosaurs off of small world and then you can basically go into the scrap line which ends up on the appaloosa with the uct and the dolka plus uh savage dragon so you're still doing really good even if you draw this brick so don't worry about the old lion too much if you don't draw it though you have an easy way to get into colossus which is in my opinion one of the most meta defining cards right now in the game as for the extra deck of course like i was saying we have the colossus we have the cupid pitch we have the tg hyper librarian we've got borlo savage dragon but on the floor this is more of a tech card it comes up sometimes but not all the time so you don't need to play it but i like playing it and it does come up sometimes uh evil zordolka got the dugares again this is a tech card not necessary but does come up sometimes and it's nice to have when it comes up we've got link rebo we've got secure gardener Christian Halka Fibrax, Pentas Tag. I like playing Pentas Tag along with the Dugares. This is a great way to FTK your opponent. Well, OTK your opponent when you're going second. Oh, we've got the Scrap Wyvern, Mecha Phantom Beast, Aurorodon, Appaloosa Boat of the Goddess, and of course, the Access Code Talker to round it off. I don't know if you guys have better ideas of how you like to play dinos in the current format. I've definitely been like trying to figure out a way to make it really shine. And uh, so far, this has been my best build, but I'm really, I'd be really happy to hear what you guys think and your takes. And uh, if you think there's maybe a better way to approach dinos for the current format. Uh, but yeah, let's just get into the games. Been really putting in, like I've really been trying to find different ways of playing this deck to try to find something that is actually going to help you climb to diamond with your dino core. And uh, this so far is the best results I've been getting for uh, dinos. So yeah, this hand is actually really good. We might as well hold on to the fossil deck. Actually, no, we could bait out an ash. If this baits out an ash, that's really good for us, actually. Seems like they don't have it. Um, we're going to grab a scrap raptor. 
And we can go into a one card combo if they end up ashing our misc or negating it or something. So we're going to activate misc here. And we're going to go for the line where uh, you just banish the misc, summon the archosaur, and pop the baby. I love that line because it doesn't use your normal summon. So we can hold on to our normal summon for our scrap raptor if ever need be. But it seems like we'll be able to go full combo here. Uh, this full combo is pretty good because uh, it's safe from Nibiru. So yeah, you'll summon the archosaur obviously, pop the baby. Get the double evolution pill, then the baby effect activates. We're going to be special summoning from our deck the soul eating oviraptor. And oviraptor effect will trigger obviously. Usually you'll search the baby, but we already have a baby in hand. So instead I'm going to go get myself a UCT. So we're going to add the ultimate conductor Tyranno to our hand. And we're going to normal summon the baby. Now we have Baby, Archosaur, and Ovi on the field. We want to pop the Baby with the Ovi effect and summon out the second Baby. Make sure to grab the rightmost here. Grab the second Baby from the grave, bring it back. Baby in the grave triggers, and we're going to get the special summon from our deck, a Scrap Raptor. So you want to get a Scrap Raptor here. Activate the Scrap Raptor effect, and you're going to want to pop the Baby. This is how you're going to make your combo safe from Nibiru. Now, obviously, we've summoned more than five times, but the thing is we are playing this entire combo under Misk, so our opponent can't Nibiru while we only have Dinos on the field. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up a Dolka before we go into our Aurorodon line. So we make a Dolka using the OV and the Giant Rex here. And this way, our Halka Fibrax, as well as our Dolka, uh, not Dolka, I mean our Aurorodon, is going to be safe from any monster hand traps such as Nibiru, uh, such as Valor, such as Ash Blossom. So uh, I really like setting up the Dolka before going into the Halka Fibrax line. The only real dangerous hand trap is uh, Impermanence. That's the only one that's really dangerous that we can't negate with the uh, Dolka. So obviously it's a risk to take. Uh, we can't, <laughs> can't play around everything. Uh, I still think this is really quite good. So we're going to go into our Aurorodon here using the Halka Fibrax as well as the Jet Synchron. And uh, you're probably familiar with this. This is the same Aurorodon line that I did in the uh, Sangan video. I don't know if you've watched that, but you probably should. I think that Sangan deck is probably the best deck in the game right now. And that's not even a meme. I'm obviously talking about the uh, Adventure Sangan DBE pile there. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we have our three tokens as well as our Aurorodon. We're going to want to activate the effect of Aurorodon. Uh, tributing itself in one of our tokens. Tributing itself in one of our tokens. We can go get ourselves the Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion. And uh, this entire combo, this entire Roar Online, only takes three zones in the extra monster zone. So go into TG Hyper Librarian here. We're already locked out of Link Summoning, so it doesn't really matter if we use up our uh, Link Zone for the Hyper Librarian. So we're just going to do that. And then we can activate the O Lion in the grave to get our other token get the other token now we can activate our jet synchron in the grave here and uh really what you discard doesn't matter it's up to you i'm going to discard this crap raptor because it will not be necessary this combo it will not be necessary so jet synchron as well as one of our tokens we can go into cupid pitch so go into cupid pitch here and summon the cupid pitch Activate here. You want to activate the hyper librarian as chain link one and the cupid pitch as chain link two I mean the odds of them ashing your librarian are ultra low But just in case they would at least you're guaranteed to get that draw if you're chain blocking with the pitch So we're gonna increase the level of the pitch and then we get our draw from our hyper librarian afterwards, we're gonna be uh, Synchro summoning into savage dragon. You could also in go into a you could also go into bar on the floor if you wanted to but uh, it's not very necessary uh, you get one less draw, and uh, overall, I think this is better in this combo. Uh, so we're going to activate... Here, Here you want to do the Cupid Pitch as Chain Link 1 and do TG Hyper Librarian as Chain Link 2. Uh, the reason for that is, is because the search of Cupid Pitch is a lot more important than the draw of uh, Hyper Librarian. And if they don't have a response, Chain Link 3 will be your Borload Savage Dragon, of course. So now we're going to equip our Borload Savage Dragon with the Auroradon. There it is. Hyper Librarian activates. We get to go get our... Well, we drew a call by. That's pretty good. And then Cupid Pitch will allow us to search our Corridor. Corridor will allow us to either shuffle back a Jet Synchron or a Misk from our Banished Pile to the deck. Obviously, I'd rather get back a Misk because that card is busted. 
So we're gonna get back a misc. We have to summon out the corridor, and since we activated a Thunder Monster's effect this turn, that being Corridor's effect, we get to special summon our Thunder Dragon Colossus. And uh, there we go. So this is basically, that was basically the one card combo that you can do with Scrap Raptor. But on top of it, we have the Dolka as kind of like a, a protection. Now we have these in hand, so we might as well go for it. So we're going to activate our double evolution pill here. We might as well go for it. We're going to banish our uh, Animadorn Archosaur as well as the Olion from the grave. doesn't really matter what you banish as long as you don't banish your corridor from the grave with a double evolution pill. And uh, we're going to be special summoning these guys, uh, one of them in defense position, to show a little bit of restraint, a little bit of respect to our opponent. Um, but I don't want to show too much respect, so we're going to summon the second UCT in attack position. This is obviously up to you, and honestly, I don't really know my logic behind it, but I just really want to do it. So we're going to summon the UCT here in attack position, and look at this board. An absolute monster of a board. I'm going to set a couple cards here. And uh, I doubt our opponent can do anything about this, but I do appreciate them not scooping so that I can show you the full extent of the combo. So we've got, basically, they can't search cards. We've got two monster negates. We've got three, well, one omni negate per turn for three turns. And we've got two Omega Book of Moons. Yep, 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 yep. So there was no way they could do anything there, pretty much. And Colossus alone will win most games. So as long as you have enough negates to keep Colossus on the field, it's going to win you most games because searching cards and adding cards to the hand is very important in both the Adventure Engine and in the Floundries Engine. So Colossus completely shuts them down. And uh, that's why it's very, very strong and very good in this meta. And that's why I want to play a dino deck that really focuses on setting that up. Now we're going to go again. Um, basically, I got like the perfect, you know, god hand combo last game. And it's not that hard to get. Obviously, it's a two card combo. But uh, I do, I would like to show you maybe me going second. How, it, you know, in less favorable situations, how the deck looks. Because uh, I don't want to be too dishonest about it. Uh, let's see what we're playing against here. I've got a baby, Rex, Corridor, UCT, and P Fossil Dig. Going first, this hand would have been pretty good, actually. But going second, it's damn rough. Uh, let's see. What are they playing? Uh, if they take too long, we might just skip through their turn. Oh, they're playing Fluanderies. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Uh, we might We might just lose this one, guys. We might just lose this one. So they're going to activate the effect. Oh my god, they're actually playing Dark Samorg. That is crazy. That's insane. Opponent can't set cards. Damn. That's crazy. Alright, so they're going for the Eaglin. So I'm guessing they already had Robina in hand or something. Interesting. Because they can't use Tree. And they can't use Tokan. So... Oh. That's it? Oh. Oh. Oh, damn, we're going to destroy Flaunderies. Now I know what I'm going to title this video. <laughs> damn, okay, okay, well. Fossil Dig here. Yep. Yep, Fossil Dig. Uh, we're going to go get... In this case, usually I'd want to get Misk here, but um, since we won't be able to special summon off of the Misk... Uh, actually, we could... Yeah, I, I'm going to have to go get Oviraptor instead. And we're going to search Misk off of Oviraptor instead. Because we're going to need to go crash into the statue before anything else. But either way, activate the effect of saluting Oviraptor. And we're going to go get ourselves a Miscellaneousaurus. Perfect. This is looking really good for us. They, <laughs> This Flaundry's player got really unlucky, I guess, with their draws. Uh, and yeah, I don't think we can really do anything before the battle phase. So we're just going to go straight into the battle phase. Get rid of that. Yep, we'll just get rid of it. And from here, I mean, we can literally just go full combo. Because we have the Misk. They probably, e even if they have the Ash, we have the Cross Out Designator, which we're playing three of. We kind of have to play three of in this current meta. People are running way too many hand traps. So we kind of have to. Uh, so yeah, activate Misk. We're looking pretty good. Gonna go get ourselves the Archosaur. Archosaur, to the field you go. And I activate it. We're gonna activate it, of course. Gonna pop the baby in the hand. Let's go, as I like to say. And uh, from there, well, we'll just summon another baby right from the deck, right? Uh, at this point, I feel like our opponent is probably going to scoop at any moment if they have any idea what Dino does. Because, um, yeah, this Dino deck is kind of crazy, you know. So anyway, we're going to pop the baby here. Yep, get back the other one. 
Make sure to always get the rightmost one. You don't want to get back the baby you just popped because it's going to cancel, uh, negate its effect basically or cancel it. And uh, with the baby in grave, we're going to summon a scrap raptor. And this is just the same line as before. Get up. Sorry. <clears throat> So sorry. So yeah, we're gonna pop the baby with the scrap raptor and we're gonna get ourselves a giant rex. Oh wait, we, oh well, they scooped. We could have just summoned the mist there and do exactly the same combo that we did last game. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, the deck is pretty resilient and definitely capable of playing under um, <laughs> a friggin barrier statue. Now that that's very uh, difficult. We could go for the last game. That one was really easy. All right, so we won the coin flip. Uh, we lost the coin flip, I mean, and our opponent is giving us first, which is always sussy. But uh, I really wanted to show you guys the one card combo with Scrap Raptor, so that's what we're going to do here. My guess is they're probably playing Numeron or something, but it is what it is. We got the Scrap Raptor, so I'm feeling pretty lucky. Uh, I, I won the last game uh, that I played, but I didn't really want to show it to you guys because it was just another Flender match. And it pretty much went exactly the same as the one you saw before, so didn't really need to show you that. Uh, Flunder, uh, I don't know, man. I, uh, I wasn't too impressed. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I guess it's not the most consistent deck, even though it is very, very good. So uh, we're going to get back our Scrap Raptor here. Basically, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what? I, I think we're going to have to call by that. I don't think we want to let that happen. But yeah, basically, the one-card combo is pretty simple, right? You normal summon Scrap Raptor, you pop itself, it's going to search a Scrap Chimera. Then you can summon Scrap Chimera, and it's going to bring back your Scrap Raptor from the grave. Yep, that's a big no to that maxi right there. I don't want to mess with that. And uh, from there, I mean, it's pretty simple. You have a non- well, you have a tuner and another monster, so you just go straight into Hulk, and that's the one-card combo, baby. You summon Scrap Raptor, pop himself, get into Hulk, and then it's the same combo as you've seen before. We already have the corridor in hand, so we don't really need to search it. But we'll act as if we didn't have that corridor in hand, just to uh, make it more, make, make, you know, make it make more sense. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we go here, we do that. We get ourselves the Jet Synchron from deck with the Hulk. Then we go into the Auroradon here. And uh, yeah, I'd say for a one-card combo, this is a pretty amazing one, especially if we're playing against. I mean, if we're playing against <laughs> uh, Numeron, it might not be that amazing. But, uh, otherwise it's pretty damn amazing against meta. But, uh, it's pretty rare that someone will make me go first when they win the coin flip, so it does have me a little sussed out. Uh, we'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, you same combos you've seen before, you know, you tribute two. You're gonna go get your old lion, of course. And, uh, we're gonna go into our, our, uh, magician, hyper librarian, I mean, right over here. Make that bad boy real nice and easy. Ba-boom. Ba-boom. Then we get to activate the old lion effect in the grave and get ourselves an extra token onto the field. And from there, we just activate the Jet Synchron. I think the best card to discard is obviously the Giant Rex in this situation. So bring out the Jet Synchron. Obviously, when you do it as a one-card combo, it is not safe from the Nibiru. That is what you'll lose when you have to do a one-card combo. But it is nice to have access to it. Sometimes you just really need that one-card combo. Uh, it really helps dinos to have access to it. Uh, not everyone knows that you can do such strong one card combos with uh, dinos, but uh, Scrap Raptor is, is a heck of a card, man. Heck of a card. One card Halcdon combo is always good to have in your arsenal. So uh, yeah, of course we're going to increase the level of the Cupid Pitch. We'll get a free draw from our Librarian. That's a pretty good draw. And uh, we're going to be special summoning ourselves a Savage Dragon here. Using these two. And uh, yeah, you basically end on one Omni Negate plus a Colossus, which honestly in this format right now is actually pretty damn strong. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely go Chain Link 1, Cupid Pitch, Chain Link 2, Hyper Librarian, and if they have nothing, we're going to Chain Link 3, Borload Savage Dragon. There we go. Perfect. Perfecto. So it seems like they got nothing. Get the Auroradon out here. Auroradon to the field you go. To the field you go, Hyper Librarian. Get Ash Blossom is really great here. And uh, we're going to go Nemesis Corridor Effect. Get the Jet Synchron back in the deck. And there we go. Make ourselves a Colossus. Our draws were not the best. You know, I would have loved to draw into a Double Evolution pill. But it's better than nothing. I cannot complain. A Misk would have been pretty great too. Off of Misk, we could have done a lot here. 
But uh, this is what it's going to be. So we've got our opponent can't search, and we've got an Omni Negate plus an Ash in hand. We'll see what they're playing here. Uh, they're probably either playing Luna Kaiju or Numerons, or even both. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, we'll see. So five cards in hand because they used their Maxi, which we negated. Let's see what they have to offer. Oh, what the hell? You're. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, that ain't that ain't right. That ain't right. Oh, hell to the na 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 na. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay, we can ash that. Yeah, we're definitely ashing that. 100% ashing that. Absolutely cannot let that resolve. We can't let them get over the, uh, the savage dragon. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh my goodness. That's not good. Just got a normal special. We can send one. Yeah, we're just gonna negate in this. We're gonna negate that. Not gonna let that resolve. So they're gonna get to destroy. Uh, do they get to attack three times, or do they just get to attack every monster? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. So they really only get to attack this and this. We're not looking too bad here. We're looking actually pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, we'll use the effect of Thunder Dragon Colossus. They should have attacked the Librarian first. Because since they won't get to destroy Colossus, we'll actually get to keep the Librarian. By the way, playing against Cubic is so funny, man. I did not expect that. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. If they only have this one set, that's pretty terrible. And uh, yeah, they totally messed up. They should know that Colossus uh, had the protection there. So they should have attacked Librarian. They could have popped it and then at least get rid of one monster. Uh, yeah, 3,000 burn each. That's actually pretty much in my advantage with the current board state. Um, right now we're looking pretty amazing. We can summon our Ovi Raptor. Go Ovi. Yep, yep, yep. Go Ovi. Get ourselves a Misk. That This is really good for us. We've got the Omni Negate for the one face down that they have. That's pretty awesome. We're going to activate the Misk here. And we're just going to activate Misk from Grave. So as you guys can see, I mean, obviously it's friggin' Cubix, but as you guys can see, the one card combo is really solid and uh, it'll get the job done, you know? It'll definitely get the job done. Uh, yeah, that, that felt really good. I'm not going to lie. That was really fun. So but, uh, anyway, that's, that's the deck. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you liked it. Sorry that that Fluanderies player was so bad. That was barely a win. That's my B. It's almost like 1 a.m. So I got to start editing the video. I can't be playing 20 matches. But uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Hope you liked it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to the UCT tier members. That would be Raptor Raptor Bongerman for 20. And everyone else supporting on Twitch and over in the baby tier. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the love. I love you too. And uh, have a good one. Peace.